What's up, Crypto Crew, and welcome back, or if this is your first time, I'm Captain Crypto Might, actively escaping the Matrix, scoping out the crypto oceans. If you like your odds, get on the boat, stay up to date, thumbs up, and join the hunt. Into the boat! Crypto Crew, today we're diving into Casper's incredible journey through 2025, from groundbreaking tech upgrades to explosive community growth, despite the lack of prize action. But before we get into today's vid, always remember to prove all things, haul fast that which is good quick reminder to keep your casper coins bitcoins and crypto investments safe in our opinion tangem is the best way for you to do that right now you can grab 20 percent off your tangem wallet plus ten dollars in bitcoin just enter in the codes ny extra 26 and crypto crew with the link in the description box below thanks so much for your consideration and support in advance and may the lord jesus christ bless you all someone wants to be a very good promoter of Caspa or advocate for Caspa, I really suggest knowing a lot about Ethereum, Solana, of course, but, but, but Ethereum mainly, Bitcoin mainly. Like many of the things that we are innovating on are deeply rooted. Their V1 is was innovated by others and appreciating our innovations and contributions must be in the context of, of those previous works. I think if you take the power of the Casper community today and combine it with more context on crypto, uh, I think that's an unstoppable force. For instance, the ZK rollups, understanding that this in and of itself is not an innovation that stemmed from our community. Understanding that most of Casper's base ideas are of course rooted in Bitcoin. Not to downplay our contribution, rather to position them correctly. I'm thinking of selling all my Bitcoin. Ooh and going full Caspa. Thank you for your honesty. You are safe here. We will always support you. Here we have a chain that does nothing, doesn't have any stable coins or anything. There's just nothing real about this chain at all. Yeah, I'm yeah. comparing you to Bitcoin in 2012, like cast any cast versions of the cast version. I'm declaring war on Caspa. That, that's what I am, man. If I'm mining Caspa and the value of Caspa is going down every year and the hash rate is low, I can mine a lot of Caspa. What good is that Caspa to me if it's lower every year? 99.99999% of everything is Bitcoin, but there are some, you know, including Caspa. Some, you could say you're entitled to <laughs> say that. Caspa is nonsense. If you're in Caspa to make money, I think it's great. Make money, use your coins to make money to buy more Bitcoin. Caspa has everything that you would expect from a centralized project. It has a living active founder, it has a PR team, it has a marketing team, it has an exchange team. As we can see here, marketing team, uh, exchange team, PR team. These are what are called the Caspa ambassadors and they're not paid directly, but it looks like you can they can be reimbursed, for example, for various, uh, various expenses. This is a very sad group of people to see uh, how misled they are. I'm a Bitcoin maximalist. I'm in the integration room and facts, they never mention anything in there about when or like we're, we're thinking about it or, or we need if you can give us this and this or provide a market maker, then we'll turn on trading on this day or in the next six weeks or something. They never said a peep about it, but they continue to ask questions about how to make it run like a top. So I don't think they're doing it for fun. You know, I, I have no idea, but I, I would just be hopeful that uh, they have their own plan. They're a business and they're not in the favor business when it's convenient for them and it makes the most business sense, they probably will turn on spot trading. There was about a series of four tweets in about 36 hours, 36 or 48 hours in one or two days. CZ himself plus Binance on Twitter. Binance posted three real hinty hints about Caspa, it seemed like. One was like, what is the trilemma? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There was one where it even had the hat, like uh, right. Michael Sutton is Orthodox uh, Jewish, and he has the, the hat, you know? And, and there was a picture with him with the hat on from Australia last uh, November. And then all of a sudden there's this silhouette with
with the exact same hat. It wasn't a cowboy hat. It was the Sutton hat, you know. Right. So the, they, they seem to be poking, you know, to do a little experiment and see what kind of likes or reaction they got to test how big the community was or something. Maybe they're doing their own research to see is it really like if we're not getting a pile of coins out of these people, is it really this big of a deal? Should we, should we maybe turn on trading this year sometime? Like, I, I don't know. They don't tell me anything. But we're completely, bit, we've been in contact with them for almost two years now. This is a certificate of rejection. A reminder that setbacks are just part of the journey. They turn a blind eye, act like they don't see. Blatantly ignore the best technology. We've been winning polls, tagging every single post. Even KYC just to cast my vote. We broke the mold, wonder why they hate us the most. Industry should find cutting edge compelling. They lead a silence, is pretty telling. The real cypherpunks don't need to be persuaded. Fix the fees, it would be much appreciated. Not the commercial crypto bank rolled by VCs. So you won't get no more currency from me. Some of the biggest companies in the world, if you take like Thyssen Group, they're one of the biggest German companies, they make steel, they, make, they just make all sorts of huge industrial equipment. You have uh, State Grid of China, which is the biggest organization in China, full stop, there is nothing bigger, they're bigger than the Chinese army, they have a bigger presence in every town and village in China. They're one of the partners and they're pushing for a concept called Global Energy Internet, which is literally connecting all of the, all of the world's grids together, allowing energy to talk to each other globally and be traded globally and that's the biggest company in china if they were listed on the fortune 500 they'd probably rank in the top five um, i think they have something like 1.8 million employees they're just enormous and then some of the other partners are some of the you know the biggest household names that you can you can imagine and quite literally the stack of business cards i'm looking at of people who want to learn about casper and see what they can do with casper and how it can be used in their businesses is just staggering you know, our, our team is going to have a quite a busy time following up after this so uh, I saw you guys were on and I'd read Jonathan's post several times and absolutely thoroughly agree with them and uh, one of the sad things for Binance and Coinbase and everything else is our corporate partners need on and off ramps for various different things including if they're going to be using Gigawatt coin and wanting to turn it back into fiat at some point they need on and off ramps the numbers we're talking about are not small so um, you know some, some of these exchanges that aren't playing ball um they're just shooting themselves in the foot because they're going to lose not just retail business but they're going to lose a lot of uh, large-scale corporate business as well dude really still here come on caspa smart contracts are live in the goal of creating a true self-sovereign l1 protocol on caspa sumpolinski and the cas core are aiming to finish the first version of the rust-based vm this week this is a crucial step to prepare builders for vprox on cas end quote now this would be a major leap for caspa smart contracts potentially revolutionary for the broader crypto ocean so it's no surprise some in the community are tagging the quote-unquote godfather of smart contracts in Exabo, who has recently shown interest in Caspa and Blogdag. And after reading Casper Z blogs, I realized like computation does not need to be on chain. Completely unnecessary and it's the wrong model. So it made ICP strength turn into a massive weakness. Casper basically made the exact feature that made me invest in internet computer seem obsolete and stupid. Thanks to Casper V prods. I didn't expect it. And this is why I said I felt stupid when I realized what Casper V prods was about. The way XRP people were. Yeah. The way Car <laughs> Cardano people were, yeah. the way Link people were, the way Cosma people were. It's those like crazy people, you know, and everybody's super passionate about it. Yeah. You actually want that in a coin. That's like one of the top five factors that make the coin be a success. But for Caspa, that emerging asset theory is helpful because we're able to put together a general risk model 
right at the precipice of QT ending and right at the precipice of PMI expansion, more rate cuts, Clarity Act, peak fear happening. But with all of that data, the risk is getting lower for these altcoins and Caspa is at a 15. So 68% of the time after three months higher and 100% of the time after one year higher. And then what happens if it's at a 15 right now, four cents, what does the upside look like? We enter a bull, what price is Casper going to be at 94 a risk? That's what's crazy. HTX has basically no English speaking communities or, or market. So they feel like, hey, if we do Casper listing, maybe we will get the Casper people attention and they can become my new user. HTX may expect to trade their platform token, which is HTX, or trade Trump on their platform um, because they can also charge service fees. So I feel like for us, it's not always a problem if we're not on major exchanges. You can see the buy bid and beat cat volume and crack volume are okay here, like top three, top four. Sometimes Sometimes the trading volume um, of the spot is not that much as people imagine. And that's why maybe Binance or Coinbase or any exchange that haven't listed on Caspa was saying, hey, we may not get that much from service fees compared to the volume we can see in here. Um, so maybe we want to care more about the new market and KYC users, about the user acquisition itself. Crypto Crew, that wraps up our 2025 Caspa review. A year of innovation, resilience, and foundational momentum. Now, as we look forward to 2026 and beyond Crypto Crew, Crew, we will continue to tell you to study to show thyself approved, study this crypto ocean, to do your due diligence and research anything crypto related, especially whatever anyone says, yours truly included. The rate cut will be HODL your CASPA. By the way, if you're looking for a pro CASPA exchange, check out Blowfin, which offers rock solid security, no downtime, and zero KYC hassle. Right now, Blowfin is dropping fat bonuses for our community, even if you're already with Blowfin, so don't miss out. Hit the link in the description box below. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Stick around. Fix your mind before you get to the grind. And with that said, let's continue to escape the matrix. Let's continue to be on the lookout for the next big thing here on the crypto ocean. Grow in grace, and let's make some crypto waves. Say I.